my name is uh, Fikadu Deresa. Uh, I am uh, DG Project Literacy and Education uh, Coordinator. And this mother tongue education is uh, benefiting uh, minority language groups. Uh, specifically, uh, uh, let me talk about uh, Mao Bambasi. Uh, currently, Mao Bambasi children are uh, learning in their mother tongue and they are benefiting from this mother tongue education. Uh, when we discussing with language communities, they are so much happy, they are excited due to their language become you know, instructional uh, language and uh, due to these minority groups are you know, equal with other you know, uh, dominant language speakers. And the other thing is uh, uh, some Mao children are able to read and write in their language and they are also uh, discussing and playing uh, using their own uh, language. Uh, but still uh, there are challenges or problems that need attention or focus competent you know, teachers and quality you know, mother tongue uh, textbooks in order to assure quality education but we have uh, good opportunities in order to improve in future uh, the quality of textbooks for example currently uh, SIL uh, project and regional education bureau is working on mother tongue strategic plan so they have really you know positive attitude towards mother tongue education the challenge that uh, facing us is uh, due to economic problem of uh, mao bambasi people some children are you know struggling with school attendance or what we call it regular school attendance they were you know rising that starting from now we are equal to any Ethiopian nations and nationalities uh, due to our language becomes an you know, uh, instructional language at school level. And uh, one old uh, man, he said, uh, it's you know, what we call renaissance for me due to I you know, uh, see my language is equal to others' language and it becomes instructional language. You know, it becomes you know, written form 